so test plan, what's test plan? It's a document that describes uh, testing scope and activities. So basically you kind of say, okay, I'm focusing on this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna test this and this and that, but not the, the rest, just, just this part of it. That's called scope, right? And it actually includes the, the actual test cases, but it's more like high level document. You can, you can say like, um, um, like um, blueprints for, for a house, right? You never build a house without blueprint. Why? Because there is no way you can remember everything. It's so, it's a lot, right? So that's why you need kind of some, some kind of plan to follow later on because um, again, because it's just too big to remember, you will, you will forget something for sure. There is no way. Uh, so, and it allows you to structure the effort and see a bigger picture, right? Without digging into details, it will show you like, okay, I need to do this, this, and that, and don't remember to do that, that, and, and something else. And don't do something else as well. So, let's see uh, what's, uh, uh, what will be our test plan for smoke? Because again, smoke now, it's a structured testing, as opposed to ad hoc, that one is structured. So before we even start doing something, we need to think, okay, what the smoke will be for Quidos app or for whatever app you get. So for example, I already gave you an example of, uh, of a smoke for like, uh, for, a, um, for used car, right? So what do you guys think? What would be a smoke for, let's say eBay? So think about why do we even need eBay, right? What's the purpose of eBay? What, what is the problem it solves? And uh, the problem it solves is simple. Um, it's a platform where um, sellers can post um, whatever they have and categorize that and buyers can go ahead search for whatever uh, they are interested in and buy, right? So yeah, definitely. So smoke for that uh, case will be um, like login probably, um, right? Because you cannot do anything without being logged in. And then um, after that, so based on the, um, on the user role, right? We have uh, buyers and we have sellers. So for sellers, it will be just log in as a seller, list your item, once someone purchases, you kind of ship it, right? And get your money, that's it. And um, uh, for uh, buyers, it's like login as a buyer, search for something, uh, add that to cart, uh, continue with the checkout process, like provide address, uh, different payment options and so on. And basically once you get it shipped, uh, you receive that and you kind of leave a review or something like that, right? So some kind of confirmation um, of, of receiving the item. Uh, so yeah, you will probably come up with like 10, 15 test cases, it's not, not more than that. 